against Mexico, and I bet the Dutch players are watching that with great interest. Again, the FIFA edict. Uh, 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 he said he dipped. Oh. Yeah, 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 right. He he dipped. He dipped. Uh, uh, <laughs> and that's going to be a card, and the red is out. The red is out by Hugh Dallas. The Scottish referee has sent Pardo off after 28 that minutes. That sucks. <laughs> On the telly. Good. <laughs> No, but I did, I did go, I took yeah. their advice, I went on the telly. Yeah, where are the rest of them? They haven't turned up yet. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, let's get on. Okay. A few things first. We've noticed from watching the World Cup over the last couple of days. With all the controversy over refereeing decisions, a word of advice to officials. If you have become a bit unpopular with the crowd during the game, try not to look too pleased to see the police escort. And Eurosport commentator Archie McPherson took time out from his commentary today to rehearse for his role as the new Darth Vader. They're lacking guile, but certainly lacking nothing in spirit. <sighs> Archie, oh, right? And with the Colombian camp in disarray off the pitch, it's good to see that where it counts, their biggest stars have lost none of their old skills. <laughs> and thanks to Alan Hansen for giving us an insight into what Mark Overmars likes for breakfast. So the Overmars, the first 15, 20 minutes, he had croissant on toast. <laughs> so, we tried croissant on toast. Yeah. Here, here it is, I'm going to give it a bit of a go. Mm. It's very dry, isn't it? It's too much bread. Yeah, it's just bread. <laughs> Have you finished that, oh? Oh, yeah, that's definitely sure it's bread. Have you had any facts this, this week? Well, I've had, I've had a story here. It's actually a programme sent to us by a Fulham fan. It's from the Milk Cup third round second replay against Liverpool in November 1983. Mm -hmm. And he's drawn our attention to the Celebrity Spotlight page. There's a piece in it that says, I try to give Fulham as much priority as dates for work. On a typical Saturday, I'll have spent two to three hours in the advice centre and I get through in better heart knowing I can lose myself in the game in the afternoon. Who's that then? Big, some mad Fulham fan, yeah, that was. Who, who was it? Who was it? Have a look. <laughs> Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. But surely David Mellor is the biggest Chelsea fan in the history of Chelsea fans. Doesn't make no sense. Mm. We'll come back to that, I think. Yeah. Now, many of our 30-something viewers will remember Planet oh, of the Apes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You've spat out cross on toast, that horrible. <laughs> Many of our 30 something viewers will, <laughs> Sorry, uh, will remember Planet of the Apes, a very fine film which featured this character. Anyway, here's Fred Truman in another clip from Indoor League. <laughs> The great thing about it, you know Fred Truman, although he presented indoor league, is a brilliant fast bowler. Fiery Fred took 307 wickets for England in Test cricket. Brilliant, right? He's the worst basketballs player in the world. Just have a look at Fred. Watch this. Go on, Fred. Miss. <laughs> it is point. Go on, another go. Another go, Fred. No, it's <laughs> rubbish. Rubbish. Poor Fred. Oh, that'll be some of the door. Great moments from the lives of England managers. Great moments. You see, and another thing, in the, uh, I buy the Daily Mail uh, to read on the train. I'll tell you why I buy the Daily Mail, because we have a Dexon. I haven't Sorry. had a drink. No, no, for God's sake. <laughs> no, I think if you're going to wear 
something really stupid at a football match, whatever happens, you should stick with it. Actually, we've been scouring the footage of the crowds for the most ridiculous bloke in the World Cup so far, and we think we found him. <laughs> can, can, we ask you, can we ask you something about this bloke? Can we see him again, Sylvia? Sylvia, can we ask you, do you think this bloke just looks like that, or <laughs> has dressed like that for the game? First of all, uh, I don't like racism. No, <laughs> I don't think that's racism. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> if you do take off the stupid thing you were wearing at the game, don't try to sneak it back on a bit later. <laughs>